Hello everyone, me Breeds here. Welcome back to another video. And this week is an exciting one because for the first time ever, I am releasing three videos in one week and they're all not just book reviews. So get ready for those. So today is the book review of the week. So today I'm reviewing Masterminds by Gordon Corman and I really enjoyed this book. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, Masterminds by Gordon Corman has 323 pages, and I wouldn't say that it's a dystopian book, because I don't really like dystopian books, I would just leave it as fiction. So, this book is about Serenity, New Mexico, a real small town, and its main source of income is from the Orange Traffic Cone Factory. And, it's a pretty boring town, not much happens there, but basically the whole town's motto is to be nice to everyone and treat everyone fairly, everything like that. And one day, a kid named Eli finds out that something with the town is kind of strange and nothing like the other kids would think. And they try to investigate it and then their whole lives turn upside down. So one thing that I like is all the kids. So the main characters, basically. And it's hard to review this book without giving away too many spoilers since the plot really starts going halfway through the book, but I just really enjoy all the characters. Uh, they're all really different from each other, and I just really enjoy that because it just makes so much sense. We find out later on, sort of, but they're all really smart, and they're just really kind to one another. So, one thing that I didn't like was that how, like I said, the plot kind of only started halfway through the book, and... I did like the first half, but I feel like it just took too long to build up to the middle of the book. I just wished that it could have started sooner, uh, but everything after that was good. It was just like we were introduced to this town for a little while, and then the next part is them thinking, you know, something's kind of fishy, and then the main thing happens. So I just really wished that we kind of learned a little bit less about the town just because we learned so much about it later on anyway. So the next thing that I liked was Gordon Corman's way of writing this book. And of course, it's a classic of how he uses multiple different perspectives. And this time it's just the perspective of the kids. But he, of course, uses this all the time. It's a classic Gordon Corman thing to do. The Unteachables, Notorious, and just so many more books of his. But, of course, this ties in perfectly to the book, and I just really enjoyed it. So finally, the last thing that I liked was, of course, the ending. I, again, cannot spoil it, but let me just say, this is one of the best endings that I think I've probably ever read in quite a long time. It was really, really good. So is this book verified, neutral, or spoiled? It was of course verified. I enjoyed it so much. And even though I couldn't really give anything away, it was just because once you get into the middle of the book, you can't say anything because the whole direction of the book changes. But obviously I enjoyed it so much that uh, the sequel's already coming. It's so good. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I have to say. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video and also subscribe if you haven't already. So hopefully you didn't hear uh, someone's doing yard work or something right next door. So that's annoying. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.